Section 16 of My Bible History New Testament by Bishop Merle. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. The Paralytic One day in Capernaum, Jesus was teaching in a house. So many people came to listen that the house was crowded. No room was left even at the door. Four men arrived carrying a sick man lying on a pallet. The man could not move. His entire body was paralyzed. Wishing to ask Jesus to heal the sick man, the four men tried to find a way into the room where Jesus was, but the crowd was so great that they could not get in. Therefore, taking the paralytic up to the roof, the men made an opening into the room where Jesus was teaching. Through this opening they let down the paralytic on his pallet. Seeing their faith, Jesus said to the paralytic, Son, your sons are forgiven. Some of the scribes present heard what Jesus said and began to find fault with him. They thought, This man blasphemes. Who can forgive sins but God only? Seeing their thoughts, Jesus rebuked the scribes, saying, Why are you arguing these things in your hearts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven? Or to say, Arise, take up your pallet, and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. Then turning to the paralytic, Jesus said, Arise, take up your pallet, and go to your house. Immediately the sick man arose. He took up his pallet and went out of the house in the sight of all. The people were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We have seen wonderful things today. By this miracle, Jesus showed them his power to do what God alone can do. This miracle and the words of Jesus show us, too, the power of God to forgive sins. Later on, Jesus left to his church the sacrament of penance for the forgiveness of sins. He gave his disciples this great and holy power. Their successors, the bishops and the priests of the Catholic Church, act in the name of Jesus and by his order when they use this power of forgiving sins. End of section 16